Well, it's been a little while since I've done a bicycle repair video. Uh, so I'm here in the shop today with a mid-70s glider. This uh, bike was uh, actually is a rebranded Raleigh with the uh, Eaton uh, department store house brand, which was glider. But in just about every way, it's a, it's a Raleigh. It has the proprietary Raleigh threading, the Raleigh headsets, and all of that good stuff. Before we get into what we're doing today, it's been a while since I've shot a video in the shop and uh, things have changed a little bit. We've done some, some organizing and uh, cleaned things up a little bit. Don't have to go hunting for spokes and stuff because I've got them all out where I can easily access them and see them. Also, I've given up my gym membership. Uh, kind of uh, driven over the edge of that by COVID-19, but uh, I've been thinking for a long time about just getting a, a decent home gym. So that's what I've done. So I've gotten rid of the gym membership. Do my workouts down here. Anyway, the issue at hand right now that we're going to be dealing with today is the crown race on this uh, Raleigh fork, or glider fork, whatever. Uh, this is the original equipment uh, crown race. It's the uh, proprietary Raleigh design headset. But the problem is that the, uh, the race does not fit tightly on uh, the race seat. That should, uh, that should be an interference fit that needs to be pressed on, and it's not, it's just, it's loose. So we need to uh, improve that fit. There's a couple of ways to go about this. Uh, you could just use a, a chisel or a center punch and go around and uh, just put divots in it, and that would, you know, as you drive uh, the punch in, that also... Uh, increases the, uh, the circumference by driving metal out. I'm going to use a knurling tool. This one is by uh, Stein Tool. I've used it for this before. I've actually used it to adapt uh, ISO uh, crown races to uh, JIS headsets. So, uh, you know, an ISO is uh, 26.4 millimeter versus 27 for the, um, for the JIS. And this knurling tool will actually increase that diameter enough to make it a, an interference fit. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And then after we've done that, we're also going to use uh, some Loctite 680 retaining compound just to, uh, you know, for double insurance. All right, so... <clears throat> We do this vertically to uh, make sure we can keep pressure down on that so that the rollers don't slip off. And then we just gradually increase the pressure on the vise. Watch on it. Make sure that the the rollers are staying right up against the shoulder. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't have the light pointed in a good direction there. I think, but anyway, you get the idea. All right, so we'll uh, take it out and do a test fit. All right, so we can see the. See the nice uh, knurling all the way around there. All right, so yeah, it's quite a bit uh, more snug now. We can't we can't rotate it by hand at least, but uh, it still still needs to be somewhat uh, 
tighter than that, so we will keep on going. I'll try and do this gently so we can try and pick up the uh, same divots. Okay, so now we're at the point where we would have to drive that on with the uh, with the setting tool. So, so that's good. All right, so now uh, we're going to give it a. First off, I cleaned everything with acetone, make sure there's no oil or grease or anything on that, so that it doesn't interfere with the uh, retaining compound. If this was a, a higher end bike, I'd be. Uh, after this step, I'd follow that by milling the crown race with a with the crown race milling tool. This being a Raleigh, basically this uh, the crown uh, this chrome piece that fits over the crown uh, <laughs> that amounts to the to the seat where the where the race sits. So milling it really is of uh, no use. So we're just going to uh, give it a little bit of this. We don't need much; just a little dab will drop you. Just a little bit on here. You could technically probably just use this without, uh, you know, without the knurling. It would probably still hold it reasonably good. But this way, uh, you know, this way it's going to be permanently seated. Pity the guy that tries to take it off. <laughs> Actually, it would still pull off. So now we'll drive it on with the setting tool. And that's well seated, square all the way around. And best of all, we can't turn it anymore. <laughs> it's on there tight. So, job done. <laughs>